Hey, Bruce here with 5 Minute Handyman. I am putting in a Schluter preformed shower base and I want to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. So what I have is a Schluter shower base here and I've already taken the parts and made sure that they fit where they need to go. I had to trim this edge of the of the preform base and cut off the section here of the the drain system. And so I'm just going to scribe a little line along this edge and uh, lift this up out of the way. Okay, this comes in two pieces and uh, interlocks together. And so uh, I have some residue over here. So let me get a broom and we'll just make sure that we have a nice clean surface to work with for our thin set. Okay. That looks good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my margin trowel to scoop some of this out. And this is uh, just nice and loose. I like to, I like to have my thin set loose so that it has enough moisture in it to fully work its chemical reaction when it starts to harden. And, uh, and if my substrate is dry like this wood is, it'll have enough moisture to be able to work its chemical reactions. So that's what I like to do. Some folks like to do it different. But that's okay. Because we each have different ways of doing it. What, what I want to spread this out, um, sometimes you might have seen people go like this and they have all kinds of swirls and things. Uh, this is not uniform enough. So what we need to do is we can use these swirls to uh, get our coverage. We need, need to go back around and make a nice uniform set of lines with our trowel that we use. Alright, so we get good coverage like this. Make sure everything is covered nice. I could use a flat blade to spread this out to get it to wet to the surface. Uh, I want to be careful not to drop too much of this down into the drain. Um, that's down here. But we want to get it all the way around. Make sure we have a nice uniform coverage of this thin set. Okay, so you might be thinking that why am I keeping that in the back here? Because there's going to be a little bit that is not that is not covered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up and get the thin set all the way in the back. Now I have everything covered with thin set. What I need to do now is make this nice and uniform. And so it doesn't matter really which direction I go. If I go side to side, when I get to the end, I'm going to have to turn around and create another direction so it's going to leave a little bit of a schmutz. So I'm going to want to go and, and end up on the outside edge. Okay, so what I'll do is Lift that up a little bit. I just set a 45 degree angle. Come straight across. Nice and uniform lines. Okay, so now if I have extra thin set, like I've got over in this section here, uh, I'll just pull that outside of where the tray is going to go. Um, 
make sure that I've got nice, nice uniformity. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And so what I'll do from this point is I'll bring this down. And when I had to, had this set up, it was all against the wall here. Okay, and so now I look and I make sure that this is centered where my drain is going to be. And then I can take and push, push this in. All right, I think this is looking good. Um, I could also come up here and give a little bit of a dance on it, just to make sure I've got nice uniform pressure all around. Okay, so, so this is this is adhered to the floor, and that's all there is to it in order to get the shower base, preformed shower base, set up on the floor. So I'm going to scoop up the extra thin set that's here. Show you how to set the drain piece. Okay. I want to make sure I squeegee out the corner here so that we don't have anything set in the corner because what I need to do next is I'm going to need to have the, um, the curb is going to fit up against this piece. So I want to have a nice clean edge that curb to sit. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and make a little bit of a scrape up here. Alright. So there I go. I'm all ready. Now I can uh, now focus in on getting the drain section hooked in. The way this works is the drain is going to sit right in in this area here and so this will sit like this and then from down in the crawl space we'll hook up the pipe. Uh, so I want to make sure that this edge is flat with the wall and what I do now is fill that area with with my full set, and for that, I'm going to use the margin trowel. Just scoop some of this out, and we want to make sure that we have really good coverage of this because we're going to want to squeeze out to make sure that we have a nice solid connection between this preformed base and the shower drain and after I push the drain section in to this thin set I will go ahead and clean things up around the outside make sure it's nice and flat but I want to get it all in this section here good coverage okay I think that's looking pretty good All right. Okay, so now I take my drain and I put it in the middle of this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take and squish it down because we want it to seat just below this surface. Okay, so it's going to be applying even pressure all the way around so that it's flat. Okay, next we take our margin trowel clean things up. Now you could use a different kind of a trowel or pointed trowel or anything really. Um, but uh, I like the margin trowel because it's square and it allows me to uh, get a nice uniform surface. Okay. So I got, got this nice and smooth. Let's wipe this out of here. All right, so our drain assembly is going to go in here. So this is the way we get our drain set in here and then from underneath we'll hook up our plumbing. 
there's a technique if we don't have access underneath, um, but in this case we do, so I just want, wanted to set this and then I'll go into the crawl space and get that hooked up. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Bruce with the 5 Minute Handyman. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. And uh, if there's things that you'd like me to show you how to do, please let me know. And I'll see if I can put them up for you. Thanks for watching.